क्वेश्चन नंबर टी एट सेज दैट द रेशो ऑफ मासेज ऑफ ऑक्सीजन एंड नाइट्रोजन इन ए पर्टिकुलर गैशियस मिक्सचर इज वन इज टू फोर द रेशो ऑफ नंबर ऑफ देयर मॉलिक्यूल्स इज फोर ऑप्शन आर गिवन थ्री इज टू सिक्सटीन वन इज टू फोर सेवन इज टू थर्टी टू और वन इज टू एट सपोज द मास ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन द गिवन गैशियस मिक्सचर बी एक्स let the mass of oxygen be x gram therefore mass of nitrogen is equal to 4 x gram we will convert the masses of these gases into their moles n1 number of moles of o2 will be x by 32 and 2 number of moles of n2 is equal to 4x by 28 28 is the molecular weight of N2 32 is the molecular weight of O2 so N1 by N2 will be x by 32 into 28 by 4x this comes out to 7 by 32 so molar ratio of oxygen to nitrogen is 7 is to 32 whatever is the molar ratio of oxygen to nitrogen that will be the molecular ratio because each mole contains avogadro number of molecules so correct answer is option 3 now we will discuss the next question that is question number 69 Question number sixty nine says the metal that cannot be obtained by electrolysis of an aqueous solution of its salts is four options are given chromium, silver, calcium, copper. During electrolysis of an aqueous solution, those metal ions are reduced at the cathode which have reduction potential higher than that of hydrogen ion. of these four metals given calcium is the only metal that has got lower reduction potential than that of hydrogen ion therefore calcium ion will not be reduced at the cathode instead hydrogen ion will be reduced at the cathode electrolysis of an aqueous solution of calcium ion will produce hydrogen at the cathode and not calcium therefore the correct answer is option 3 now we move on to the next question that is question number 70 question number 70 says that the equivalent conductance of nacl at concentration c and at infinite dilution are lambda c and lambda infinity respectively the correct relationship between lambda c and lambda infinity is given as four options are given in these four options 
the constant B has a positive value. According to debye huckel onsager equation, the equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at concentration C is related to its equivalent conductance at infinite dilution by the relation According to this equation, the equivalent conductance of an electrolyte at concentration C is related to its equivalent conductance at infinite dilution and the concentration of the electrolyte by this relation. This is known as debye huckel onsager equation. Here, constant A is equal to constant B. So the correct relationship between equivalent conductance of sodium chloride as given in this problem is related to equivalent conductance of sodium chloride solution at infinite dilution minus B into root of concentration. This is the correct relationship between lambda c and lambda infinity. So of the four options given, the fourth option is the correct answer. Now we will discuss the next question that is question number 71.